the name of the game. Now at the trots on Sunday, the Southland Trotting Club had tried to promote it to the hilt. They had everything going for it. Fine weather, some big promotions, some big celebrities. Let's see how they got on. These big promotions, you can offer the public everything. $5.50 joker bets, barbecues, have a great celebrity like the Mad Butcher down here. But it all comes down to this. Bums on seats, bodies through the gate. Let's see how successful this promotion is. Now you seem to be keeping a watchful eye on everyone, what's your job? I'm just taking the money and checking the tickets as they come through the gate. And is there plenty of money and tickets rolling yes, through here? Yes, well actually there seems to be a lot more people paying today to what have got tickets. Yeah. Well that mean, does that mean extra people that don't usually come here? Oh, well I think so, yeah. Does the promotion work as far as you reckon? I would say yeah. so, yes. Okay, yeah. we'll, we'll check, we'll see what they say. Any special reason you came out today? Anything oh, different? Just a good day out and you know, support the club and that. Alright, should be a good day. Anything to do with the Mad Butchers promotion? Well, I hope he's giving away free ones, is he? He is? Yeah, get over to the barbecue. Oh, I'll wait to go and see him now. Okay. The sunshine and yeah. just the atmosphere. And the sausages. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> okay, enjoy right. yourself. Thank Bye you. How are you going? This is the help desk? Yeah. I need a lot of help. I know nothing about anything. Yeah. Um, a race book would do for a start. Can yeah, I have a race book? $3. Oh, um, I'm actually, I'm a friend of Peter Leach's. Oh, yeah. Would that, does that make a difference? Yeah. You give it to me, will you? Yeah. All right, thank you very much for that. Great. Well, Peter Leach has come in handy for something. I've got the book. Now all i got to do is work out how to read it. This is the greatest deal you'll ever get in your life. For $3, for $3, you get a $5.50 joker bet. You get some of the world famous mad butcher sausages. Some people tell the truth and say they're better than the two of every sausages, to be fair. But that's not my word. You go in the draw to win this beautiful warrior jersey. Lincoln T-shirt, only for three dollars, and I'll even give you a free Warrior magazine. Well, here we are, Jerry. Here we are, my old son. A load of sausages, a poker bet. You can go away now, and I want you to go and find out how these Southland people enjoy the northern bloke coming down to show them how to do it and giving away his money, giving it away. Only three dollars, and you get the free Joker bet, Jerry. What a legend! Oh, you beauty! <laughs> I can't get over it. My well, God, I think I've got the whole pack here. This generosity is incredible. Let's see if it's really worked with people and they're really enjoying it. Well, here's a group that's definitely enjoying themselves. I've been given this this joker bet. Can you tell me what it no, is? No, Jerry, it's a poker bet. Now, come a poker on. bet. Come on, you know what it's Look, all I've, about. I've got four horses there. Four? Well, okay, yeah, you're going to do it right there. What happens? Here. Well, it's an all-night bet, Jerry, and what happens is um, you can actually uh, miss out on the first race. Yeah. And as you go on, you've got to get pick up two races to actually get some money back. Two of them have got to come in? Yep, no matter which two, as long as you get two that come in. We're having a wonderful Good day. Too. Have you had a collect yet? Um, no, but we're only just beginning. You're only, it's, There's a long way to go yet. There's always hope, isn't there? <laughs> yeah. God loves the trial. <laughs> I've got no idea with races. I've just come for the sunshine and the socialising. I was interested in the races. And a lot just to enjoy the day out. Have you had a go at the Mad Butcher's Barbecue yet? Not yet, no. We'll get there though. You've got to, you've got to be in training for those, those sausages, you realise? <laughs> I think ours are better down here, aren't they? Have you been bringing any money back? Not yet, but we're going to. Now, why is everyone so hopeful at race meetings? <laughs> <laughs> We've been asking people what they thought about this North Islander coming down, Auckland, yeah. you know, lovely yeah. place yeah. for people who want to stay there. But when you come down here trying to promote to us, they've got something to say to you. Go on. We're showing you what a good South and barbecue should look like. This is a mm. an Alliance <laughs> lawn ball steak. It's a cube age, and that's what they should look like. Lady, you are talking to the legend in the meat industry. <laughs> I don't need you to tell me not. Well, I think you do. Ah. Look how tender it is. It just melted in your mouth, didn't it? But that's a good I've never had such a tough steak in all my life. <laughs> Jesus Look Christ! At that. It's You're going back for a second bite, though, Peter. Yeah. It only, looks only it's because I like the lady. Only because I like the lady. <laughs> I'll eat anything if it's free. That's a South and barbecue, Peter. They've well, taken so, you on. So that. will we, but that, you see, that's just so beautiful, that stuff. What, what's your response? Come on, the South and have hit back. This is our idea of a barbecue, not a sausage. <laughs> To be fair, you've never had a barbecue till you've had a mad butcher's barbecue, to be fair. You can't beat the sausages. Look at that, it's falling apart in his hands. <laughs> that was so delicate. Only because I'm so bloody strong, to be fair. No, I not. ripped it apart. I'm the man that fought David Tua. We saw your muscles expand then. <laughs> I think we've got someone who's finally had a win here. Have you had a collect today? Yeah, sure have. Okay, what happened? Nine. Oh, I won. <laughs> what on? What did you have? A trifecta? Yeah, easy bit trifecta with the girls here. Just come up. 
with the girls. Yeah, they just come up and say, do you want an easy trifecta? Sweet ass, just one. And you just won, how much did you get? Oh, I got a half a trifecta, 41 bucks. 41 bucks? Women just paid 80, and paid 82, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. So what sort of a day are you having? Yeah, good day. Good, good day. day. Is he, is he lucky? He's, he's lucky. He's lucky. He's lucky. He's lucky. He's looking for a lady. Well, there we go. There was the Makariwa boning room. That was their special um, day out at the races. In the background there, giving plenty of support, moral support to one of their mates. And man, did they have the barbecue turned on there. They had the sweetbreads and they had the venison and really the mad butcher. He didn't have a leg to stand on compared to those guys. A very successful day out there. And uh, as for my poker bet, I'm just trying... Yeah, the closest I got was a fourth. There was a couple of third lasts in there, but they almost, almost got a collect. So it was well worth it. Well worth a chance anyway. An enjoyable day at the races. And that's, that's promotion and how it should be done. Some more thoughts today on promotion, gold guitars. Any ideas on that, on how we should boost that right up there to get more people coming along? Let us know. And also, if you've got any thoughts about Waitangi Day and how it should be celebrated, I know that we've got some footage of Ruapuki Island and the special celebrations down here in the south. Catch that later in the week. Meanwhile, Margot has sport and weather. Catch you tomorrow. Good evening. <laughs>